Welcome and welcome back. Today I am in Warman, Saskatchewan, and I am at the Warman Thrift Shop where every purchase is a gift to the world. So let's go on in and see if we can find any vintage items to resell in my Etsy shop, Fifth Avenue Vintage Co. So I just spotted these two brass bears. They're 50 cents each. They look like the Grateful Dead bears. I'm gonna pick these guys up. There is a little bit of Christmas decor here, not a whole lot. Oh, here's some vintage Christmas ornaments, 50 cents. So I'll pick those up. I love the ones with the indents in them. Santa, those tins. Does that say? Made in Hong Kong. I think they are vintage. I don't know if they're just little Santa tins, but for 50 cents, I'll grab them and we shall see. These are cute little. Handmade ornaments. Dinnerware sets. Fifty cents for that set. Twenty for this one is. J and G Meekin made in England. Blue skies. It's a metal tin. Just spotted this troll doll. It is Russ. Made in Indonesia. Not suitable for children under three. I've never seen a ceramic troll doll. It's a piggy bank. I do believe it is vintage and it is one dollar. Trolls are really popular right now, so. <laughs> This is not something that I normally pick up, but because trolls are popular and this is just kind of fun, and it's only a dollar, I will grab it. <laughs> I'm also curious about this vase. It is a dollar. It isn't marked or anything. It's got a really nice shape to it. Cute little clowns. There's two of them there. Those are pretty sweet. This is taped together, so we'll see if I can see the bottom here. Valley, Valley something, I'm not sure. This is kind of an interesting piece. Made in USA, five dollars. Looks like a cauldron. Pottery cauldron? I've never seen that before. A 
handle needs a little bit of adjusting, but I don't know, that's kind of fun. Never seen a pottery cauldron. It's a little bit large, a little bit heavy, but it's unique, so I'm gonna grab it for $5. So I decided to put this back. It is not a true troll doll. It's ceramic. I don't know how well it's gonna do. And it's really not my thing, so I'm going to leave it for somebody else. Who is she, Royal Dalton? Hmm. Royal Dalton. Handmade, hand decorated, made in England. She's five dollars. Well, she's really pretty. I don't think she's super old. But I think I will grab her. Well, I guess it's a good thing I put the troll doll back. <laughs> Got this little cutie. So I got some candle holders and knickknacks, odds and ends here. Cute little kitty. are cute. <laughs> Tiny little chicks. They were from fields. Oh, that's been closed for a very long time. Those are sweet. Oh, there is a long neck kitty. Oh, he's got a chip on his ear. It's not super bad, but it is just a hobbyist piece, I think. So with that chip and it being a hobbyist piece, a little bit harder to sell, I think. Kitties. What is this piece? A little Japanese bowl. Clothing. I think I'm gonna go have a quick look at the books. I also haven't looked at the linens yet, but I'm gonna have a quick look through their books. Fifty percent off blue tag books.
I have made my way to the next town over. It is called Osler. And I'm at Gospel Echoes Team Thrift Shop. So let's go on in here and see what we can find. Little knickknacks here. Here's a bird planter. It's four dollars. I do not recognize the mark on the bottom. It looks like it's in really nice condition. No chips or cracks, so I think I will grab this one. It's a very large ceramic hippo for $4. It is made in Japan. It does have a little chip right there. Here's a ram. Orchard Hotel in Singapore. There's a little Coisonne piece brass, 25 cents. This one. I do have another one very similar. So pick that up for 25 cents. I spotted some cat figurines up here. There is a well is that a chip or just a might be just a little rough spot. They're two dollars each. His eyes a little bit wonky there. <laughs> I think we'll leave these ones. There's some bird figurines up here as well. Does have a repair right there. I'm over in their book area and I just spotted these older books. Just want to check them out. They definitely look like they have some age. I'm not sure what they are. This looks like somebody's little scrapbook. It's all dog photos. <laughs> well, that's pretty fun. And another scrapbook. This looks like animals, a whole bunch of different pictures of animals. And those are some pretty fun old books. I'm not sure how much they are though. I might grab these. They're not too much. And that's it. Oh, here's a scrapbook. One dollar. Canadian scrapbook, The Depression Years, Canada in the 1930s. Hmm. 
looks like an interesting book. There's a croc for 20. songs. Well, I'm going to see how much for the scrapbook. Just noticed some dolls down here and they look like they may have some age. Ten dollars for these ones. Eight for these. There's a little cupie. There's a broken one. Ten for this one. Those definitely have some age. Dolls. I don't know if this would be. Oh, she's broken. These ones are a little bit rough shape. I might put these ones up. That'd be five dollars each. Very old. Yeah, I think I'll grab those. I'm just going to go into a quick car haul and show you everything that I got. And I went to three thrift shops and I only recorded in one of them, I believe. I believe I just got some footage in the first thrift shop in Warman. And I did end up going to the other thrift shop in Warman, Ideal to You. And I did not find anything there. And then I drove to Osler. And I got a few things in that thrift shop. I think I actually got some footage from that thrift shop. And then I drove all the way to Rostern and I didn't get any footage and I did pick up just three things from there. So I'm going to show you everything that I got. And I'll start off with these brass bears. They were 50 cents each. And I will remove this ribbon here. And these are super cool. They hang on the wall. Their legs stick out so they could be used to hang something on them, jackets or towels or something. And they look like the Grateful Dead dancing bears. And I did sell a set exactly like this. And I believe I sold it for around $90 with shipping included. I will put the exact amount up on the screen, but it was somewhere in that area. So, I definitely picked these up again for 50 cents each. And this pottery cauldron <laughs> was $5. I just thought it was super cool. I have never seen a pottery cauldron before. And it is stamped USA on the bottom. I'm not sure if there's any other maker's mark. I think it's just USA. And it's got the handle, gold metal handle. Super cool. So this would be perfect for, you know, making some witch's brew. <laughs> this would also be a really super cute planter as well. So I got that for $5. I don't think this was in the video. I spotted this right before I checked out. It is just a really cool bowl. 
I would say 1920s or 30s, maybe older. I don't think there's any maker's mark under the sticker. It was 50 cents. It's got that kind of painted, flashed, whatever, I don't know what it's called on it. Flashing, it's painted. I just thought it was a really super cool bowl. I will probably keep this one and use it maybe out at our country home. I picked up some vintage Christmas ornaments. They've got the cool indent in them. They were 50 cents for four of them. Um, yeah, I believe this would be the original box, I think. So I don't know how old these are. They're made in Canada. Well, made in Mexico, actually. So they're definitely vintage. They're not the really old Christmas ornaments, but definitely vintage. And I just picked this up because, I don't know, I just thought the Santas were super cute. I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe there's candles inside. There's a little castle in there. And then two of these little heart Santas. They're made in Hong Kong. So they are vintage. Yeah, there's just little candles inside. So I'll probably just maybe give these as a free gift with purchase for someone that purchases something Christmas related in my shop. I grabbed this figurine. She was $5. Really pretty. Royal Dalton handmade and hand decorated in England. I don't know how old this one is. I am thinking probably, uh, it says right there, 1985 Royal Dalton. And it is signed. This is Amanda. She's in really nice condition. Beautiful little figurine. So she will get listed in my shop. Make sure I don't break her little fingertips. So that was everything that I got from in Warman. And I believe my total in there was $12. Is it $12? Yes, $12.50. And then I went to Osler and went to Gospel Echoes Team Thrift Shop and I picked up this bird planter in really nice condition. It is marked on the bottom, but I do not know what that says. I will try and figure it out before I post this video and I will add it in there. All I can make out is the C in the middle, so maybe somebody out there knows what this stamp is. But it was $4 in really nice condition from what I can see. Of course, the true test is when I put it in my light box because I may not see little flaws until then. <laughs> so from what I can see so far, it's in really great condition, but we'll see once I put it in my light box. I grabbed this little brass and enamel wall decor, kind of has a cloisonne look to it. It was only 25 cents. These are really fun to put into a gallery wall. If you have an area that's got a little small section that needs a little piece of art, these are nice little pieces to fit into a gallery wall. Be great in a boho gallery wall. And then I grabbed these dolls. They were $10 for the two dolls. They are very old. 
I'm not exactly sure what they're made out of. They don't feel really plastic, maybe a resin or some type of composite. She's got red hair and she's got little bloomers on. They're in pretty decent condition for their age. I am thinking these are probably 1940s or older. She's got a little kind of witch's hat. And I'm sure this is handmade. So I got her and then I got her and she's got a little bit of a boo-boo on her chin <laughs> and she doesn't have any bloomers she's got some shoes but pretty good condition for her age some red hair yeah I don't I don't really know much about dolls at all but I just thought these were really nice antique dolls in pretty good condition And then I've grabbed these three books. This one is Canadian Scrap, Canadi, Canadiana, Canadiana Scrapbook. The Depression Years, Canada in the 1930s. It was $1. And there's all kinds of different articles all about the 1930s in Canada. And this book is copyright 1978. So it is a vintage book and it's got all kinds of information about the depression years in Canada. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then this scrapbook, I got these for $2, no, $3. One was two, one was one, and the other one was one. So it was four dollars for all three books and this one is just full of dog pictures very old vintage dog pictures somebody's scrapbook with all kinds of photos of dogs I just thought that was really fun and then this one is another scrapbook and it's got just all different animals in it really old photos of all different animals, little newspaper clippings and things from books. So I got those and that was everything that I got from the Gospel Echoes Team thrift shop in Osler. And then I went to Rostern and I only got, what did I get, just two things? I thought I got three. Maybe not. No. Oh, I did get three, yeah. I grabbed this needlepoint of praying hands. It was one dollar. I really like the frame, the green trim on it and the colors. Really nicely done. And I grabbed this one. It is Cash's Woven Pictures. And this is the House Sparrows. And this is a Cash's miniature woven picture. It combines the skill and talent of artist, designer, and weaver who create detailed, delicate pictures in fine silk. So this is all silk. Really nicely done, beautiful picture. All professionally framed. And it was $3. And then I just picked this up probably just for myself for Christmas or I might maybe fill it full of little Christmas doodads, baubles and whatnot and maybe sell it like that. It was 50 cents. Actually, it was 25 cents because orange tags were half price. So my total there, I think, was $4.25. 
So that was everything that I got. And that is all for today. So thank you so much for joining me. If you are new and you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave a comment down below. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.